Today I want to show you the key formula to be able to create links from Excel. Whether it is to a file, a website or another cell, you have it all covered. On top, I'm gonna show you the main pitfalls to avoid, so let's go. Let me start easy on you by doing a link to a website. And here I have the link to my YouTube channel. Let's go to B2 and here we can use hyperlink open parenthesis. You have the link location which is a mandatory parameter and the friendly name which is optional. How do I know this? Well, you can see those brackets around friendly name. It means it's optional. Let's start. We can have double quotations, double quotations. And within this, you can type your website. So for example, HTTPS, then you have two dots, slash, slash, www, and you can continue the name. It also works like a normal formula. So for example, if I remove this, I can select a cell, D2, and close parenthesis, press enter. This is the link. We just click on it and you go directly to my YouTube channel. Now let me close this and come back and you see it is really ugly. You have a name. Nobody understands what it is. So I can just go up, comma, and give it a friendly name. For example, YouTube in double quotations, press enter. Now you can also refer to a cell. So I'm just going to remove this and refer to A2, press enter. You get this name. Let me show you a small trick now. We're going to have here www.google.com. Press enter. And we're going to use the same formula. So hyperlink, open parenthesis. Select this cell, close parenthesis. Press enter. Now if I click on it, you will get a warning this time. Assume I'm lazy, I want to continue, yes. And boom, you get an explosion. What happened? Well, this is a very common error. A lot of times you need to put HTTPS in front of it. So HTTPS, then two dots, slash, slash, press enter. And now if you click, you will go to Google. Let me just close this. Let's do now a link to a cell in another sheet. So what I'm going to do is go here, equal. Let's go to sheet two. Select, for example, A1, press enter. I go back. Let me remove the equal, press enter. And let me use the formula. So hyperlink, open parenthesis, that's the link location, comma, the name is here, close parenthesis. Now before you go, because you think it's too easy, if I click on it, boom, I get another explosion. What happened? Well, whenever you are referring to a cell within your workbook, you need to put a hash before. So if I put a hash here, click on it, now I go to the right cell. Let me go back. And we're going to do a cell within your worksheet. So here, what do I do? I want this cell, E6. I'm going to go to sheet 2 or any sheet that you have. Equal. Anywhere you can do it. You go. This is E6. Press enter. We add the hash now because we know how it works. Press enter. Now we take all this. So control C, escape. You can also delete it. Let's go back. Put it here, for example. And we use the formula equal hyperlink. We select this cell now, comma, that's the friendly name. Close parenthesis, press enter. Now, if I click, I go to this cell, perfect. Let's do a link to a file. So if I go here, I have a PDF file. I want to link to it. What do I do? I need the full pass. So this is one part of the pass. You can click up, control C, escape. Let's go back. Let's put the pass here. And here we're going to add a backslash. We need the name of the file. So we go back, click one time, then click another time, take everything, control C escape. Then you go back and you put it. Press enter. We can now copy paste the formula. So for example, I can copy it from here. It's like a normal formula. Control V, you get it. So let's just check it. It's referring to this cell. So I'm just going to move it to this one. And here you have the right name. Press enter. Now if we click, you have this amazing formula. Let me just close the PDF and let's do one more amazing trick. Don't go away because you're going to love this one. Now assume that I want to have a link to all the files in a folder. Now if we go back to our folder here, we have three files, but we could have 10 files. And you're not going to do this manually. It's too tedious. What do I do? Well, what I can do is just go here, click. 
I'm going to type CMD, press enter. You get this window. Now, what you type here, it looks scary, but don't worry. There, then you have slash B slash S slash O, press enter. And there you go, you get the names and the passes of all the files that you have in this folder. Now, how to copy them? What you could do is dir slash b slash s slash o space. Now you need to use this character. I'm going to show you where it is on my keyboard and I'm using shift to get it. Then space clip. I'm copying this to the clipboard. So press enter. It's copied. Let's just close this. And don't forget that CMD, you need to do it in the folder that you have. For example, I did it where I have my test folder. Let's go back. And if I paste them here, you get everything. You can just use the same formula, equal hyperlink. Then you open parentheses and you select the cell, press enter, and you copy paste it. Now you're going to tell me, how do I give the name of the file that I have here to this hyperlink? Super easy. Let me show you. We just take this. We go to sheet two. We can paste them. And here you can go to data. You have text to column. You can see that we have a backslash here at the end. So I'm just going to do next, other, backslash, we don't need the tab, and then you finish. Now you have the names of the files, Control C. You go here, let's paste them. For example, we can paste them here, and we change the formula. We need the friendly name, we select this one, press Enter, and you just double click, you have everything.